Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. <laughs> I always love those. I love when you, when you say Anna. the title. <laughs> it always. That's great. Picture this. Me, stunning but approachable on my first day of school. I'm lost and confused, struggling to find my first class. Although some people might compare the new Teenage Kraken movie to The Little Mermaid, only because of the character Chelsea van der Zee, the red hair seemingly striking a resemblance to Ariel, I can assure you it's not. Does squad solidarity mean nothing to you? Well, of course it does, which is why you should come with us. You'll be on a boat. You'll be completely safe. Unless there's a tragic accident. Bliss, no catastrophizing. Sorry. Take the mythical, mighty, giant Kraken. And today we'll be showing you exactly how this character came to be in the behind the scenes moments. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, tadpole! <laughs> Get off me! You feathery demons! You winged dopes! Ow! Hey! Hey! Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Oh no. That's <laughs> something like that. Amazing. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. Kirk D'Amico is an American filmmaker and director. He is noted to be the director of this project, but what other animated feature is he most known for making? And I'll give you a little hint. It was a DreamWorks project, very popular in 2013. Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Ruby, Ruby, listen. The ocean triggers the transformation. But if you stay on dry land, you'll stay small and on two legs. Oh no. Who's this guy? Uh, that's our son, Sam. Son, as in, I'm an uncle, again? I've never had an uncle before. Great. That was amazing. That was awesome. <laughs> The premise of the film reads as follows. Teenager Ruby Gilman, who is part Kraken, is desperate to fit in with others to be more social and less awkward. But danger soon comes as a mermaid turned human named Chelsea comes and influences almost everyone. The new girl. Oh, can I get an autograph? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, new girl. She's gonna sh 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 She's gonna say something. Uh, 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 uh. I think Chelsea is a bit much. However, she is also very fabulous. After she learns she's royalty, she learns to use her powers to help save her home and defeat the evil mermaids. Very much of a twist on a mermaid story. Okay, I'm a giant kraken. I'm big. I'm strong. But I am also a mathlete. Well, hey, Connor. Hey, Ruby. What's up? Yeah. They kind of weird me out. <laughs> Just ask somebody. It doesn't have to be this big proposal. That's crazy, right? Now, even though the film isn't going to be released, at least in the US, until the 30th, there was a showing on the 15th that premiered at the International Animation Film Festival. Uh, what if you don't tell her? Gasp of exclamation! <gasps> Draven's right. Your mom does not have to know. Oh, deception. I'm on board. Come on, Rubes, do it! Do it. And from that premiere, we did get some reviews already saying that it is a clever story, and with all of the sea monsters seen, it was really interesting to see this type of film not only regarding the Krakens and who they are and what they are and what they are known for, but reshaping this into a kids' movie instead of something scary. Well, I'm just lucky that. My story. Now. I'm not much of a swimmer, but in that moment, I remembered what my mother always told me. You are gorgeous. No, 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 no. Please don't ask me things. Now, back in the day, the film was pitched to DreamWorks and had already been in the works for several years. It drew inspiration from John Hughes projects like Easy A, Lady Bird, and Booksmart. It sells. It sells. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I sound like Harvey Firestein. I don't know why. I don't know why, where it comes to It sells. <laughs> you see, in real life, Krakens are noble protectors. The sea will always need a Kraken. Taking inspiration for the main character from the body of an octopus and bringing the curviness to all the design language of the film, from the cars to the underworld. And besides, prom is a post-colonial patriarchal construct. <laughs> Exactly. <sighs> Could be fun to go with the right person, though. 
Oh yeah, totally. We can also take a look at some of the cast members like Lana Condor and hear what she has to say about the film's story and her character, Ruby Gilman, and how people can relate to the story. The story about Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken is one of very much a coming of age story, very much about a young woman stepping into her power and finding out where she truly belongs, who she truly is, and owning her differences. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. I never stopped fighting. I fight for my family. I fight for who I love. You, you just love to fight. Ruby's different. She's, she's not a fighter. She's just a kid. Jane Fonda also appears in this film, or at least her voice does, as Grandmama, the warrior queen of the Seven Seas, who is Ruby and Sam's grandmother and Agatha and Brill's mother, and ascends Ruby to her throne. Now, talk to your grandmama. Tell me everything, Ruby. Was it horrible living among the hairy crust dwellers? A warrior queen? Ultimate Lordess, ruler of the seven seas, etc., etc., sinker of ships, drowner of sailors. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you people think. And of course, it's really great to see not only the behind the scenes of any film, live action or not, but especially animation when the actor or actress has to focus more on the voice to get the right emotion down, especially when it's a big scene when you have to get really creative with your voice. Our tour begins where 15 years ago, I came face to face with the monstrous giant Kraken. And to your right, Oceanside's best saltwater taffy asked for the Gordon Lighthouse discount. At a glance, it looks like Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, will be an aquatic superhero story. Under the surface, it looks more like a story of growing up and accepting responsibility, which is what some of the cast has said. Your body is going through changes. Think of it as blossoming. Your body is a flower. Blossoming. <laughs> no daughter wants to hear that. <laughs> great. That's great. You're so bad at keeping secrets. Just talk to your mom. Mom won't tell me anything. Well, neither will I. Things take a major turn when a popular new student arrives on the campus, the snobby Chelsea played by Annie Murphy, who also has an aquatic secret of her own. You turn into a, a giant kraken. I know this is a lot to process, Ruby, but you're not alone, okay? This is actually so much easier than I thought it would be. Dad, everything okay? Dad, you good? Chelsea is actually an undercover mermaid, and in what feels like a cheeky nod to another animated redhead merperson, mermaids are actually the ancient enemies of the Kraken. Also, big risk, big reward. Always go big. And what is bigger? Then saving a life! Ruby? Oh. <laughs> Ruby? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. You, you go? You go? We also get to see the works of Liza Koshy, Ramona Young, and Eduardo Franco. And I don't think we've ever seen this before, but usually when the actors are recording their lines for an animated piece, there is only one person in front of the microphone, but here it's all three of them reading from the same script. There you are! Why'd you stop answering our text last night? I was worried that monster got to you. I carved us each a whistle out of juniper wood. Blowing it could give you precious seconds to abscond with your lives. Sick! Juniper wood has been known to have crack and defeating powers! And if you're wondering if you can stream this film at some point, as part of their 18-month deal with Netflix, the film will stream on Peacock for the first four months of the pay TV window, then will move to Netflix for the next 10, and then will return to Peacock for the remaining four. I was already a little weird, okay? <laughs> but this? <laughs> I can't handle this! Oh, no. Ruby, uh, all right. No, you <laughs> go. Okay, no, but seriously, what were you gonna say? When suddenly, I spot little Mr. Skater Boy here barely above water. And Annie Murphy explains what she loved about her character and the Gilman family. I don't know what you've heard, but the Gilmans are just a really nice family from Canada. Um, who happened to be a family of Krakens? What I loved most about playing Chelsea was that I got to be a really evil. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, it was the movie The Crudes that the director was most noted for. Honestly, I don't know how your mom did it all these years. 
Land is not built for a giant kraken. Isn't this great? How am I so good at this? Let's go! Your body is a flower. Blossoming. And before we sign off for today's video, we do get a glimpse of the film's musical score as well. And we wanted to turn this around to you guys and ask what your thoughts were on all of this and are you excited to see this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. So I'm this, the horrible stereotype of a kraken you said humans made up. I think I am having a panic attack. My favorite line! <laughs>